Welcome back to the channel today. I want to talk about these little guys. The research for transcendent mods and what you can do with them to make them more efficient. Now, I'm going to go and hide because every time I try to record this, three enemies come around here and start shooting me and it's becoming annoying. So some of the transcendent mods are locked behind the fusion reactors. So for instance, the one I'm looking for right now, Supply Moisture, is from the Hagios Corrupted Zone Void Fusion Reactor. It requires me on hard mode to have 35 of the organic void shards and 10 of the inorganic void shards and it gives me a 2.5% chance of getting that every time I run it and kill the bosses. However, if I go over to one of the other reactors, like over here, this requires me to have inorganic void shards in the amount of 36 and polymer void shards in the cost of 9. So, you can see that every single one of these reactors requires different void shards. Now, how do you get those void shards? If you're not aware and you need to do this, you go to a void fragment mission and you use whatever element type it reads. So, it says fire over there and you use that element to destroy the tower and you have to fight a whole bunch of waves of enemies which we'll show you but if i was to do this one here let's say i get organic void shards times 11 100 percent of the time and inorganic void shards times four 100 percent of the time that's because i'm on hard if you were to go over to normal you will see that the rewards are dramatically lower so organic void shards times four and inorganic times one so whenever you're farming these void fragment missions you are better off doing it on hard because you will get a hell of a lot more rewards if i was to go over here and do this void fragment it's a non-attribute so i can use any well pretty much any character in the game then go down you can see that this one gives you all of them at the same time so monomer void shards polymer inorganic and organic so whatever you're farming for in terms of reactor so like this one here you need to farm for inorganic void shards and polymer void shards you need to find one of these void fragments anywhere in the world that will allow you to get the materials that you need, the void shards that you need. So for instance, like I said over here, I need organic void shards and inorganic void shards. I could very easily do this one. I just need to swap to uh, Belair or somebody. But if I come over here to Agna Desert, there is one over here that I like to do that gives me 13 of the organic void shards, but only two of the inorganic void shards, which will I'll explain in a second and get more of the main one that I require for supply moisture and less of the secondary one, which is perfect. Plus this one is electric, so it can be done on bunny and it is relatively faster than most of the other ones that I farm. So I'm going to go over there and do that right now. Now, excuse my bunny gameplay. I don't like using bunny. I just find her awkward. So sometimes I just stop running or run into something. I'm just not used to playing her, but this is a very easy, fast, way to do this mission now i often just use my chain line and i don't even bother using the run because i can still do the damage they all run to me for the most part as well like this so you know this isn't going to take too long but i am going to cut the footage down so it's not too long in the video we've got another bunny here as well to help me out and there we go that took like about a minute and you can see i get all the things that were promised to me very easy very quick way to farm it so what i would probably do is spend about an hour here getting as many materials as i can so what makes this efficient again if we look at this 35 required organic void shards 10 inorganic void shards i've just ran something that gave me 13 organic shards and two inorganic shards but this is a 2.5 percent acquisition rate if i swap it to normal you can see that it's a two percent chance of getting it on normal but the requirements in terms of shards is drastically lower only 14 organic void shards and one inorganic shard so running that mission that i just did give me every material bar one to run this once so if i sit there and i run that over and over again getting loads and loads of materials i can come here and run this several times over before i run out of ammo and i have to go replenish and keep going and keep going and keep going and i only lose 0.5 percent chance which is very very negligible in this game and if we go over and have a look at some of the other reactors over here 36 inorganic void shards and nine polymer shards and what was it 2.5 percent yeah so if we go over and change this to normal you can see that it goes down to two percent but again inorganic void shards 11 polymer void shards four so the drop off in terms of chance of reward 
is definitely worth taking so that you're spending less material so that you're spending less time farming and the farming that you do is actually meaningful and impactful because you can use it more efficiently to take down these fusion reactors and in some places it's even better if we look at fortress and we go down and we look at this one to get toxic stimulation it costs 39 polymer shards and six monomer void shards and that is roughly kind of what you pay on every hard mode version of a reactor just different shards and we get a 2.5 percent chance of getting that but if we change it to normal you can see that it's actually a 2.2 percent chance of getting it it hasn't gone down to two it's a 2.2 percent and on top of that as well the charge that it costs for void charge is way way lower so you really gotta like look and pick and choose what's best for you obviously because if you you know if you're not playing anything to do with toxic and freighter then you don't want this one but there are definitely places in this game where you can farm specific mods over and over again like this one backdraft is also 2.2 percent so you can figure this out very very easily just make sure you're going on hard mode to do the void missions to get the shards and then turning it to normal mode when you come in to do the reactor it is pretty goddamn sick and let's run this reactor right now and see if i get lucky enough to get it i don't even know if i've got enough uh, materials these are the guys that kept killing me get out of here oh was that white ammo i should have my tamer on for this but well oh no i don't have enough void shards it turns out i did have enough i just wasn't on normal mode so usually you fight a boss or a couple of bosses these ones got quite a bit of chunky health so this is why i was saying i should be using my tamer but they're not too difficult to take down my tamer would have probably both of them down by now but once you kill them both you can also open up your amorphous materials from these reactors as well if you do have the right one the correct one and then now i should get a chance of dropping it the end game rewards so did we get it no we didn't get it so this is where you do your amorphous materials and then i don't have enough void shards to do it again i need to do some more grinding but that essentially is what you should be doing to make this more efficient to get a better well not technically not a better chance of getting it because you lose that 0.5 percent but more efficiently because you get more attempts and more tries for the materials that you are grinding you only lose a small negligible amount of drop chance and you save a lot of materials and that's about it i hope it helped if you did hit the like button comment favorite subscribe fax me um go over to facebook i'm not on facebook just go over there anyway subscribe to my OnlyFans. thank you for watching i've been easy now you guys have been awesome